Welcome students. In this video, I will be explaining the different arrangements of different type of capacitors. First one is parallel capacitance circuit. When two capacitors are connected in parallel, the equivalent capacitance is given by C is equal to C1 plus C2. The parallel capacitance arrangement is shown in the figure. The C1 C2 capacitors are arranged in parallel. As we can see from the figure that voltage is same across both the capacitor but the charge is not and it depends on the capacitance. Series capacitance circuit. When two capacitors are connected in series, the equivalence capacitance is given by 1 by C equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. The arrangement is shown in the figure. As we can see from the figure that the charges on both the capacitors is same but the voltage is different. Let us take in capacitance question based on these concepts. Find the equivalent capacitance of the circuit. There are three capacitance here C1, C2, C3 and they are equal to value C and we have to find the charge on capacitance C1. First of all we need to make a parallel series capacitance formula here as mentioned in previous slides. The capacitance C2 and C3 are in parallel so we can replace those capacitor while equivalent capacitor equal to C2 plus C3 that is equal to 2C. The arrangement is shown in the figure. Now the capacitance C23 and C1 are in series so we can replace those by capacitor by the equivalent capacitance of 1 by C EQ equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C23. By putting the values of C1 and C23 here, we can find that C equivalent is equal to 2C by 3. So the total equivalent capacitance of the circuit is 2C by 3. Now we know that charge on the capacitor is given by Q is equal to CV. So the total charge in the circuit will be Q is equal to C equivalent into V. Now here volt potential difference is given as V. So it is 2CV by 3. Now since C1 is in series with the whole circuit, the charge on C1 will be 2 Cv by 3. In these type of questions, we have to make sure that we write the correct formulas and substitute the correct values. For more tips and study material, please visit our website physicscatalyst.com.